three, two, one, charge! Movement from all six robots, always a good thing to see here on Carson. Mort slams into the Sally Port. Cougars gun wired into the Portcullis. Both those teams will get two points. Red Alliance is going to be in the lead, however. Two of their robots able to score with high tower goals and autonomous. That gives them 42 points during the autonomous period. Mort wastes no time getting to their own courtyard to play defense. It and Cougars Gun Wired playing interference with each other, trying to get in the way. Cavaliers from the Blue Alliance. Looks like they may be having some difficulty with movements. They have control, but have not moved recently. There's some flickering lights on the robot. Less than a minute and a half to go. Mort continuing to play defense. They are not able to prevent Ramona Rampage from scoring in a low goal, however. Red with about a 30-point lead with a minute to go in the match. Cougars gun wired slamming itself over the ramparts. It makes it, but it doesn't sound pretty. Good. They find a lot of things, I guess. At this point, the Blue Alliance Outer Works have been breached, but the Red Alliance Outer Works still stand. All three Blue Alliance robots by the tower, however, with 30 seconds to go. Cougars got wired, goes for a high tower goal shot. They miss. Mort rushes out of the courtyard to go back to the other tower. Red has broken 100 points with 10 seconds to go. On the Red Alliance, Team Taters has scaled. They go up nice and easy above that logo. That will be 15 points for the Red Alliance. Qualification match 104, scores are ready to go. It is the Red Alliance, 133 to 82. Red Alliance walking away with four ranking points. They took the tower, they breached the outer works, they won the match. Those four ranking points will bring Team Taters into our number two spot and their partners Petty School Robotics into number three.